welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this episode here, we're gonna be working on Matt Cook's 91Z28. Uh, in the last episode, we fixed the uh, steering column issue and put some new suspension underneath it. Um, so in this video here, we're going to uh, fab the exhaust up, get the exhaust ran, and uh, put the new wheels and tires on it. Uh, should be a pretty exciting video. Lots of changes, a lot of, you know, it's pretty much gonna change the whole look and sound of the car. So uh, let's get to it and uh, so we can get done. This is where we're gonna get started, guys. Uh, this is the GMMG uh, 82 to 02 F body uh, catback system from Hawks, uh, the chambered exhaust. It should sound really, really killer, uh, but this is where we'll get started fabbing. Um, it's got uh, speed engineering long tube uh, swap headers on it already. So basically what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna hang this uh, at the back, get it on its mounts where it goes, and then the, uh, the intermediate pipe put up there and then basically I'm gonna fab a Y pipe to come from the speed engineering headers to this cat back. And then last but not least, we'll put the uh, the polished tips on it and uh, see what this thing sounds like. So first up, I'm gonna hang this up there and get it kind of mocked into where it needs to go, put the intermediate pipe in there and then uh, start uh, designing out my Y pipe. So I got the tips um, kind of mocked up there. This one here, I'm really happy with. It's exactly where I want it to be. Uh, this one here is, if I hold it up there, I can hold it where I want, which these will probably be welded on. I think that's what I'm gonna do back here. I'll talk to him, see if he wants me to clamp them or go ahead and weld them. But I'm about a quarter inch low over here. So I'll probably end up modifying my uh, mount right here. Oh, angle focus, there we go. Uh, probably end up modifying that because I like where everything else is at. Um, let me see here. You know, it's hard to see, but yeah, it's really tough to see. But I got some clearance right there on the fuel tank. That's how the exhaust is ran on these cars. They're really tight through here. And then I got my intermediate pipe in there. It's really tight to the floor, which is where I want it. Actually, move back out. So it doesn't really hang down hardly at all. That's really doable right there uh, as far as the you know the drop on the exhaust that's pretty typical uh, it actually fits really good compared to my fortune that's actually um, better so so what I'm gonna do now let me get you guys over here so here's our collectors I'm gonna start uh, working my way back basically I'm gonna fab a Y pipe to come back here cross over and to my intermediate pipe right here because everything else it's it's tight it's good it's exactly where i want it you look at this exhaust here so yeah this thing should sound really really good and i don't know if you can tell in the video but it's got it's got good clearance here i don't really know like crazy till i drive it but compared to the, all the other ones i've done it's got about the same amount of clearance so and this thing's already lowered so it's not gonna uh, it's probably not gonna get too much you know crazy you know when it hit bumps wherever it's gonna be a lot more stiff than than the car that's not lowered so but uh yeah this is where we are so far and uh i'm gonna start uh working on fabbing up this y pipe quick update on the y pipe guys um my piping finally come in but all right so this is uh all you know three inch uh pipe here this piece uh where's that right there i went ahead and made that uh that was just a straight piece uh got it bent around nice uh it fits really good right up through you can tell where right up through the uh 
the cross member deal and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side here. Uh, but that's basically gonna come over here. I'm gonna start uh, making my piece to go from that right collector to the, uh, the mid-pipe. And then I will uh, uh, joint that uh, 45 degree piece right there into this piece. But I'll show you guys that uh, as I go. But so far that fits really nice on the, uh, the uh, driver's side uh, collector there. Uh, it is hanging a little bit lower than it will be when it's all together just because it's, you know, all loose. But, uh, yeah, this is going to work out really good. So I'm going to start on uh, making this piece. i got to cut back that, uh, that shield. You guys can see right there by the transmission pan. Uh, i got to cut back that shield so that uh, pipe can come through there. And then uh, once I get that out of the way, I'll start making that, that piece that comes back. Okay guys, next uh, update here. As you can tell, I took this uh, 45 degree deal off here and I made this piece here and it's gonna, when it's up there, it, it's hard to do it here while holding the camera, but it does bend around and it's gonna fit in here just perfect. So um, this got two, two little bends to it. As you can see, it tucks really good right up inside that, uh, that cross member there. And that one, like I said, just kind of hanging right now, but um, it's going to work out really good from here. So, uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put my uh, collector clamp up here and here to where it holds these pieces exactly where they're going to go up. And then I'm going to grab my 45, put it back on and mark it where it's going to make my transition into this piece. And then we'll, uh, we'll start fabbing that part of it. All right, here's the, uh, finished Y pipe. It turned out really good. Uh, these pipes right here, they do line up. It's just everything's loose. Uh, so once I tighten everything up, they, they'll come together. And I do have that little intermediate pipe that connects the two um, already made. Obviously, it gets clamped on both sides. It's got to slide into one and then up in place and then into the other. So uh, the, my clamp's up here. It'll clamp right here. And then obviously, it'll clamp on the connectors. This piece, this Y pipe goes on and off really easy. So that's good for uh, future, you know, mods or whatever, you know, if you need to get up in there to service anything. So um i left everything loose so now i'm gonna go ahead and get this pipe in and get everything where it goes and then uh we'll tighten everything down and we'll be ready to fire this thing up see how she sounds finally guys we got this exhaust all complete uh all the clamps are tight you can see our intermediate pipes in there now there is going to be uh two clamps that go there and there uh, i don't have them right now i thought i did but i don't so i'm going to get those uh, those will be the kind that kind of go over top and really clamp it solid. Uh, so, but for now, I'm going to fire it up like that. If it does leak, it'll be very minimal because that is a very tight fit right there. But uh, I just can't wait to hear it. So, but yeah, this thing turned out really good and it's super tucked. Uh, you can see the uh, trans cross member up in there. It, it's really tucked for such a, you know, decent size exhaust, you know, three inch exhaust, but it, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's really tucked, fits good, can't complain about that there. And then uh, we'll go ahead and fire it up and stuff. Uh, my tips are about where I want them already, but they're not welded on and I am going to weld them on. But uh, for now, let's start this thing up, see what it sounds like, and then we'll do the, uh, the tips later. All right, y'all, let's hear this thing. Uh, got this exhaust whipped it sounds amazing I know in the camera I kind of listen back to it it's hard to tell obviously in the camera uh, I will give you guys a sound clip of it outside maybe that'll change it being that it's in the shop or whatever and there are um, 
I think the headers might be a little bit loose because there's some some ticking and sounds coming from up there. Maybe, you know, the car was so loud with open headers before that it was hard to hear it. Uh, now you can. So I'm going to go through, tighten all those up, make sure they are, uh, you know, snugged up. And then uh, we'll start it back up and see what it sounds like. But uh, I got the tips watered on, so the exhaust is final. It's completely done. Uh, nice and tucked. Works out really good. Um, can't wait to hear it outside and, you know, driving around because uh, it is... It's not loud at idle, it's nice and quiet, but when you rev into it, rip into it, it is loud, uh, which is, I hope that's what he wants, that's definitely what I, I like, I like them when they're quiet, you know, quiet-ish idling, I mean, it's not quiet by any means, but it's a lot quieter than like, you know, open headers or whatever, it's pretty quiet, but uh, you rev into it, man, it's, it's loud, you know, so uh, next up, I'm going to get the uh, new wheels and tires on it, and then uh, I'll bring you guys in, reveal the, uh, the new look, pretty pumped, let's do it.